Peter Schiff. China and Russia are selling entire U.S. asset and driving up U.S. inflation. Raging inflation could do more than just erode the purchasing power of the dollar. According to Peter Schiff, CEO of equity fund Euro-Pacific Capital, who's famous for publicly predicting the 2008 housing crisis, spiking price levels will help push the economy into recession. Welcome back to Investor Secrets. Today we're going to talk all about what Peter Schiff just said about U.S. inflation and why Peter Schiff is selling all his U.S. stocks. So let's get right into it. Soaring inflation is going to get worse, creating dire consequences for the U.S. economy, according to one economist. Higher prices for food, gasoline, and most other items helped push consumer sentiment to an 11-year low in October. Inflation is going to help push the economy into recession, said Peter Schiff, chief economist and global strategist at Euro-Pacific Capital. Consumer prices surge by most in 31 years. It's a bunch of nonsense what everybody is saying about how inflation is a good problem. And it's just a consequence of our strong economy, he added. A strong economy doesn't produce inflation. It actually produces the reverse, because a strong economy means that your economy is productive, you're producing more goods and services, and you're growing the supply. We have shortages because we have a weak economy. Consumer prices accelerated at a 6.2% year-over-year pace in October, the fastest rise since November 1990, according to the Labor Department. Prices rose 0.9% for the month. But Schiff said the real inflation rate is well north of 10%, and as bad, if not worse, than any year in the 1970s. The way the consumer price index is calculated was changed in the 1990s. The passage of President Biden's trillion-dollar bipartisan infrastructure package could cause prices to rise even faster, some experts say. The Biden administration, however, has insisted that the inflationary spike is a temporary byproduct of supply chain woes caused by the lingering pandemic. Average new car price soars to $46,000. Higher prices have already begun to eat away at disposable incomes that were built up during the pandemic. While consumers were able to enjoy very strong purchasing power since the pandemic started, it has recently shifted, wrote a Bank of America research team led by U.S. economist Michelle Meyer. This is not because of a lack of income support, but because more of that income is forced to go to higher prices. Real average hourly earnings, which are adjusted for inflation, are down 1.2% this year compared to last year. The drop comes as food and energy prices, which make up about 28% of expenditures for low-income consumers, have jumped 9.7% this year. The one-two punch of higher inflation and softening consumer sentiment has caught the attention of the Federal Reserve, which is currently expecting to finish the tapering of its asset purchases in June before raising interest rates. However, investors are growing wary over the Fed's timeline for rate hikes. The October CPI report raises concerns that the Federal Reserve may have to raise rates earlier than previously expected, said Mark Heifel, chief investment officer at UBS Global Wealth Management. According to Peter Schiff, CEO of equity fund Euro-Pacific Capital, who's famous for publicly predicting the 2008 housing crisis, spiking price levels will help push the economy into recession. A strong economy doesn't produce inflation, Fox Business reported earlier this month. It actually produces the reverse because a strong economy means that your economy is productive, you're producing more goods and services, and you're growing the supply. The good news? Schiff also knows a thing or two about hedging against inflation. In fact, we can clearly see that theme in Euro-Pacific's latest 13F filing with the Securities Exchange Commission. So here's a look at three ways Schiff's investment firm is preparing for a downturn. One of them might be worth purchasing with some of your extra nickels and dimes. Schiff has long been a fan of the yellow metal. The problem with the dollar is it has no intrinsic value, he once said. Gold will store its value, and you'll always be able to buy more food with your gold. As always, he's putting his money where his mouth is. As of September 30th, Euro-Pacific held 519,095 shares of Newmont and 1.528 million shares of Barrick Gold. In fact, the two gold mining giants were the firm's top two holdings, representing 7.4 and 7.3% of its portfolio, respectively. In Q3, Newmont produced 1.45 million ounces of gold at all-in sustaining costs of $1,120 per ounce. The current price of gold sits above $1,800. Meanwhile, Barrick Gold produced 1.09 million ounces of gold at all-in sustaining costs of $1,034 per ounce. Gold can't be printed out of thin air like fiat money, and its status as a safe haven means demand typically increases during times of uncertainty. If gold prices go up, miners like Newmont and Barrick will likely enjoy bigger profits. These days, you can build your own recession-proof portfolio just by using your own digital nickels and dimes. 
recession-proof income stocks. Dividend stocks offer investors a great way to earn a passive income stream, but some can also be used as a hedge against inflation and even recessions. Case in point, the third largest holding at Euro Pacific is cigarette giant British American Tobacco, accounting for 4.5% of the portfolio. The maker of Kent and Dunhill cigarettes pays quarterly dividends of 75 cents per share, giving the stock an attractive annual yield of 8.6%. Schiff's fund also owns over 160,000 shares of Philip Morris International, another tobacco king with a dividend yield of 5.4%. The Marlboro cigarette producer is Euro Pacific's fourth largest holding, with a portfolio weighing of 4%. The demand for cigarettes is highly inelastic, meaning large price changes only induce small changes in demand and that demand is largely immune to economic shocks. If you're comfortable with investing in so-called SIN stocks, British American and Philip Morris might be worth researching further. Agriculture. When it comes to playing defense, there's one recession-proof sector that shouldn't be overlooked, agriculture. It's simple, whatever happens, people still need to eat. Schiff doesn't talk about agriculture as much as precious metals, but the fifth largest holding of Euro-Pacific is fertilizer producer Nutrien. As one of the world's largest providers of crop inputs and services, Nutrien is positioned solidly even if the economy enters a major downturn. Its shares are already up about 39% in 2021. Another way to play the agricultural boom is to invest in U.S. farmland. Farmland could be an effective hedge because it's intrinsically valuable and has little correlation with the ups and downs of the stock market. Peter Schiff's key takeaway on U.S. inflation. Meanwhile, Peter told stories about just how bad the economy really is in the grassroots United States. Governments also fudge numbers about just how few people are unemployed, and to what degree, by using metrics like U3 and U6 unemployment. Nobody really understands these numbers, but they sound official and people just believe them. Then they make their shadow stats the real numbers that puppet members of the media share with a gullible public. For instance, Peter Schiff spoke of how he had just purchased several pairs of shorts at The Gap for $5 each. After sitting on the shelf forever, the store marked them down to next to nothing. Inflation is killing the U.S. economy, which has few solid fundamentals to begin with, other than a fading belief that America is rich. It's not. As Peter said, when China lets their currency rise and domestic demand there grows, the U.S. will be even more screwed as the price of global goods rises along with it. This is what happens when you don't make anything, devalue the dollar, export endless money printing around the world, and rely on an age-old status as reserve currency, and smoke and mirrors to keep the party going. As Peter Schiff told us this weekend, the result is rarely pretty. Just look at any number of places that have suffered hyperinflation, and you realize even one-tenth that level of shock would be disastrous to your savings. If you guys enjoyed this video or think it was valuable, then don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified first. Also, feel free to let us know your thoughts about the next video in the comments section down below. See you soon. Bye.